the big bag mistake. Dun dun dun. Okay, let's listen. Let's enjoy. Ah, this name. You know, I don't know if this is uh, Gisela or Hisela. Uh, I'm gonna say Gisela. And I could be wrong, but we need to choose some name here. Okay. Uh, Gisela is going home to Rio de Janeiro after a month's vacation in London. And she lives in an apartment in Rio with two friends. Her airplane leaves at 5 o'clock. It is 1 o'clock now. Gisela puts her clothes and a manuscript into a travel bag. The manuscript is very important for her, uh, important to her. She is writing her first book. Mm -hmm. Who is this? Ricardo is a student. He lives in Rio de Janeiro. After two months in England, he is going home. He finds his seat on the airplane. A pretty girl is sitting in the seat near him. Hi, Ricardo says to the girl. He smiles at her. Uh, Gisela looks up, but she doesn't smile. Hello, she says, and she looks down at her book again. Suddenly, Ricardo's bag falls on the girl. It knocks the book from her hands. Oh, Gisela says, sorry, Ricardo says, I'm sorry. He quickly gets her book from the floor and looks at it. Interesting, he says. Here you are. Thank you, she says, but she is annoyed. My name is Ricardo, Ricardo says. Gisela looks up at him. Is it? She says. Then she looks at her book again. Oh, what's your name? He asks. Gisela doesn't look up from her book this time. Gisela, she says. It's a pretty name, Ricardo says. Ricardo is talking about his time in England. I like London, he says. I like the noise, the lights, the people, the red buses. Do you like London, Gisela? Do you like England? Gisela puts down her book and sighs. Yes, she says. I like London, I like England, and I like quiet people. Later, there is a movie. Ricardo is watching the movie, but after a time he sleeps. Very slowly, his head falls under Gisela's shoulder. Gisela looks at Ricardo and sighs. <sighs> I don't want his head on my shoulder, she thinks, but he is quiet now. She thinks about her manuscript. I can finish the story in Rio, she thinks. Many hours later, many hours later, the airplane arrives at Rio de Janeiro airport. Gisela and Ricardo go into the building and wait for their bags. Gisela's bag is blue. Suddenly, she sees a blue travel bag. Ah, here it is, she thinks. Good, now I can go and Ricardo can't follow me. She quickly takes the bag and leaves the airport. Ricardo watches Gisela. Wait for me, Gisela, he thinks. But he doesn't have his bag and he can't leave the airport. Then suddenly he sees a blue travel bag. Ah, oh, that's my bag, he thinks. Maybe I can catch Gisela. He quickly takes the blue bag and runs from the airport into the street. Oh, there's a problem. What's the problem? Ah, uh, and there is Gisela on the bus. Uh, wait, Ricardo calls. He runs after the bus, but the bus doesn't stop for him. And Gisela sees Ricardo from the window of the bus and she smiles. But now Ricardo is, looking Ricardo is looking down at the blue bag. Something is wrong, he thinks. Mm -hmm. 
the bus is very hot and Gisela's eyes close. She sleeps after the long journey from London. A man on the bus is looking at the blue travel bag. Maybe there's money in that bag or some expensive clothes, he thinks. The bus is stopping now. Quickly the man takes the bag and runs. Does he look like a nice guy? Uh, there he is. Oh, no. The bus stops and Gisela opens her eyes. Then the bus moves again and she sees the man. He's running down the street with the blue bag. Stop, stop, the bus, Gisela says. That man has my bag. The bus stops again and Gisela runs after the man. But where is he? Where did he go? Mm. Gisela runs up and down the streets of Rio, but she can't see the thief. She's angry and unhappy. My manuscript, she thinks. It's in the bag. Months and months of work. What can I do now? I can't start again. Then slowly, Gisela walks home to her apartment building. Ricardo is waiting at the door. What do you want, Ricardo? Gisela says. Oh, is that my bag? Ricardo smiles. I have your bag, and you have... He stops. Where is it? Where's my bag? Your bag, Gisela says. Oh, I'm sorry. A thief has your bag. Hmm, I wonder how Ricardo feels. Aha. Uh -huh. The thief is looking at the things in Ricardo's bag. Oh, wonderful. He doesn't look happy. He doesn't understand. There are these aren't they aren't no, they aren't the clothes of a pretty young woman. What's this, he thinks? Dirty shirts and dirty old jeans? He looks for some expensive dress, but he doesn't find them. He leaves the clothes in the street and walks away. Oh, I have my manuscript, Gisela says. Thank you. Ricardo laughs. Ha ha ha. And the thief can have my old shirts and jeans, he says. A big bag mistake. She smiles at him. A lucky mistake for me, she says. But how? How do you know, how do I know your address, Ricardo says. It's on the label. You read books, Gisela. I read labels. Thank you. This has been The Big Bag Mistake. Thank you.